Don't move in with a woman. <laughs> Don't do that. What's your experience as being a landlord? But you should be able to go on a cheap date. Wagon mamas. Oh. Where even just go for a little spin. Coffee. Listen, let's go yeah. Krispy Kremes. That's near mm. me, Enfield. Yeah, let's go there or whatever, innit? Yeah. Mm. If if that's not good enough, the girl don't want to date you like that. Mm. You, is that like a lucrative thing for people nowadays? Or you gotta mm. make that sacrifice. But a lot of people they don't want to leave London because they're leaving all their friends and family behind. A reinforcement from their parents that have mm. that victim mentality. Mm. This has been passed down through the generations and that grandma taught mum and yeah. I'm gonna make this channel called JYS TV because obviously mm. I'm the wise man. I right, big up everyone. Creative Insight Podcast. Yeah, this is a legendary episode because we've got JYS. Oh, no. JYS TV in the <laughs> building, man. Big up. Yeah. I, I've been watching his content for a while on TikTok, um, seeing his advice that he gives online. And I thought, yeah, it would be good for for JYS to come down and share some more insights, man, and maybe inspire the youth, give some advice to young people out there and even people just trying to build up their careers and stuff, man. So any questions you guys got, make sure you type them in the comments and we'll discuss them right now live here on the show. Right? So let's get things started, man. Let's kick things off. You might have to talk into the mic whenever you want to speak, though. Yeah, yeah. It's just these pirate studios, man. It's a bit weird. But <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, cool. So... Let me move this. Yep. First one's gonna kick it straight off, man. How did you get the name JYS? JYS or JYS TV? I don't even know, you know. I just thought of it off the top of my head. Yeah. I'm gonna make this channel called JYS TV. Because obviously, mm. I'm the wise man. I'm like my friend used to say, Oh, you're like Yoda. Yoda. So I got knowledge <laughs> yeah. in that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So mm. I thought, you know what? Let me just start a YouTube channel called JYS TV. Yeah. It's so, nice, yeah, man. And nice. and then from there you just like you started YouTube and then what you just putting out advice advice so or content. Initially right? when I started in 2018 November, mm. the main thing I was talking about was obviously let's say like stop and searches and that. Because the media likes to portray that you know, young black boys are the victim of stop and searches and that. Well why are they the victim of stop and searches? Are you in the wrong place at the wrong time? Mm. Are you not doing that with your life? Yeah. These are the things that they need to think about why they're getting stop and search. Because when I was on road, I was getting stop and search all the time. Mm. All the police in my area, they knew me. And as soon as I changed my lifestyle, changed my mindset, got on the right path, all the stop and searches stopped. Mm. So a lot of people who are not even from the streets and that, like, you might grow up on the ends, but you weren't really a part yeah, of yeah, that. Yeah, you're not about that life. They, they're looking in from the outside and they think, yeah. oh yeah, the police are just harassing the youth and that. But until they actually were doing it themselves, then they will know that, you know what, maybe it's actually their fault why they mm. didn't stop us, that's why the police mm -hmm. so much. So. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, so, um, yeah, so you found that, like, when you was growing, growing up in a certain environment, you know, maybe in around certain people, you more likely to be stop and search, but when you came out of that environment, it was non-existent, basically, the stop and search, you was getting... Pretty much, yeah. I disappeared off the yeah, streets. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, yeah. I put myself in mm. that environment initially. So yeah. if you put yourself in the game, you're going to be exposed to what happens. Mm. Yeah? You get rushed, you get stabbed, you get stopped and searched by the police, you mm. end up in jail. But then when you remove yourself from that game, none of that happens. It mm. all stops, mm -hmm. like, day and night, literally. Mm. So. so that's... Well, the young people should actually take that on board, you know? Because you think that nowadays, it's like a lot of people kind of use that... The problem is, yeah... yeah I can say this all I want, but they're gonna mm. get reinforcement from their parents that have mm. that victim mentality. Mm. This has been passed down through the generations and that grandma taught mum and then yeah, mum's yeah, teaching yeah. son or mm. whatever, innit? Yeah. So I can say all I want to the book I'm blue in my face, but yeah. they're getting reinforcement from the media. From the yeah. They portray us as victims. Mm -hmm. So it is it's very difficult. It's a fight mm. and an uphill battle. Yeah, yeah. But again, you're doing well because you're putting the message out there which needs to be said at the end of the day, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know? So um, so that's what inspired you to start. But since 2018, you've gone into different realms with the content as well. Like what other videos, like, what videos other topics? about property, yeah. dating, yeah. Um, I'll say don't move in with a woman. All Like I've covered mm. all different angles. There, mm -hmm. There's nothing I ain't really spoken mm. on. Mm -hmm. um, I spoke about when I started a vending machine business at my uni. There's nothing I ain't really spoken mm. about. So With the, well, with, We'll go into like, cool, let's segment it here. So let's go in, into the different topics where you talk about. So let's start with property. Yeah. If someone, obviously, you know, living in London now, a lot of people are telling me that if you want to buy a house, there's no point going to London for it. Go outside of London. Yeah. What's your thoughts on that? You got to. You got to make mm. that sacrifice. But a lot of people, they don't want to leave London because they're leaving all their friends and family behind. I'm saying these yeah. are the same people that are talking rubbish about <laughs> you behind your back. Yeah, and yeah, you're yeah. going to stay loyal to them. 
Mm. The same people who, if you tell them that you want to start a podcast or you want to be a rapper or you want to be a YouTuber or an actor, they're going to tell you, ah, what's the point of doing that, man? There's so mm. much people on Netflix or everyone's starting a podcast. It's that, that defeatist yeah. mentality. It, kind exactly. Of thing, yeah. And you're going to stay loyal to people that are going to crush your dreams and, mm. dreams and tell you to not do what you want to do. Nah, man, move out. And also, move people out. think like London is, you know, it's even if you move outside of London, you can still go back. Exactly. You can yeah, go yeah, back. Yeah. You're not leaving forever. You're not so exempt like, yeah. from from being in London. Yeah. yeah there's no um oh, no yeah. There's no bands or mm. anything. It's not as ball you got. You yeah. can come back. Mm. Exactly. But why do you say people should look for somewhere else out of London? What's the reason for that? It's Financial, yeah, a better for, way of living. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Yeah. If I could buy properties in London, I would. Mm. But I can't afford to buy as much properties as I can at this rate. Yeah. I'm in London, so I have to go outside. Mm. So I went outside. So. so you you've spoken a bit about well. On your on your um, TikToks and your YouTube, you've spoken a bit about your situation with properties and renting them out. Mm-hmm. Um, would you say like people should look to buy the property and then rent it out? Would you is that like a lucrative thing for people nowadays? Or so because so a lot of people are just renting now and just living yeah, like that. Yeah, so this is like my advice to people who are like living at home. Yeah, let's say you're a young person living at home and you've yeah. got a good relationship with your mum and dad. They're not ripping you off a five hundred pound a month for rent. Yeah, they're charging you a decent amount, maybe two fifty or nothing. Yeah. Yeah. Then don't buy a property to live in. Mm. Buy a buy to let. Because if you buy a property to live in, I don't want to use the L word, the liability and that, or um, yeah, I don't want to use the L word and that. But mm. it is slightly a liability. Because you're paying and you're not making no money off it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you're better off buying a property that's going to bring you back a return. Now, that's for someone who lives at home with their parents, is able to save up money and buy a property because obviously they're living at home and they've got a good relationship with their parents. But let's say, yeah, they're already out of their yard. They're living on their own, whether it's a yeah. council house or paying rent. Then, yeah, go and buy a property to live in. But if you're living at your mum's house yeah. or mum and dad's house and you've got a good relationship, then stay at home as long as possible and just buy a buy to let properties so you can make money off of it. But if you're paying rent to a landlord, whether it's housing association or Mr. Joel Blogs, mm. then buy your own house. Buy because your at own. the end of the day, you're investing into someone else's property. Yeah, it's true. That no money's return. going down a drain. That money's yeah. going, rent money's no going down a drain. whatsoever. Mm. So, yeah, that, oh, that, that's yeah. my That makes sense. And one thing as well, I heard that a deposit for a buy to let is higher than a yeah. deposit for a buy to live. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So residential is typically yeah. 10%, but they can do 5%. You can get less than 10%. Yeah. Um, buy to let is 25% typically. Sometimes yeah. I heard you can get 20%, but it's 25% typically. Okay. Yeah. Wow. So so buy to let is 25%. Yeah. That's okay. Yeah, okay. That's, okay. So if you compare yeah. the same property, let's say the property is hundred grand, easy mm. numbers and that, it's much easier obviously to come up with a ten percent deposit. Yeah. But that extra fifteen percent going from ten to twenty five, yeah, that's it could be when, a quite yeah, a big yeah, jump. Yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. That extra ten and five mm. percent. Or maybe top. they could buy to live in and then change it over to a let. Or what is that? Yeah. yeah. Oh, obviously, I don't. Is that know Everything. Yeah. yeah, you can yeah. do that. Mm. You can get consent to let, but allegedly, yeah. don't hold me to it. Mm. let's say you're on a three-year term if you do it a year (coughs) into it then when that term ends the three-year term ends when your product ends then you can't just continue to rent it out maybe you need Uh, to organize something with the lender and that Mm. yeah you can't just continue doing what you're Mm -hmm. doing allegedly yeah 100 Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah nice man so how's like obviously you're a landlord what's your experiences being a landlord i haven't had nobody not to pay the rent ever yeah never never one time Mm. never never i've had a man um, be a day late because it's just human error you yeah, forget yeah. in it but I've had no one not pay their rent because mm. when they come to my property to view the property it's not necessarily for them to just view the property yeah. it's for me to view them yeah, yeah to see so when they come I tell them within the first five minutes yeah let's say the room is 450 yeah it's 450 which is one month's rent up front and the mm. same value as the deposit so you have to give me 900 yeah. if you fail to pay the rent I'll serve you a notice so you have to leave if you're afraid to tell your prospective tenant that then you've really lost mm. if you're afraid of that awkwardness and yeah because yeah. Yeah, as long as obviously you'd be diplomatic about it, I don't start shouting and foolish yeah and you don't need to but be, yeah you have to p- yeah 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 you have to be built you have to have boundaries yeah, you have to you have, have the boundaries you have to be built a certain yeah. way to be a landlord mm. so when i tell people that some people let's say for example i get 15 people through the door they will say oh yeah 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 uh, i'm just gonna go and look elsewhere and i think you know what i don't even want to deal with this landlord i've really because <laughs> i've really the yeah you feel man, you feel to them out you feel the to them 15 out or 15 or um, 15 man or 15 gallon that four of them i would have lost fine it's cool then a couple of them obviously 
um, they might just generally not like the room. But I'd rather get rid of people and filter them out rather than someone who's going to take liberties and not mm. pay rent. I'd rather have a room empty than yeah. man sitting Hands in my yard yeah, not, exactly paying not paying rent. rent. No, it's true. I'm mad. It's never, true because never, then never that's just going to cause more headache for you at the end of the day. Never. Mm. Never. I've been doing this for like three, four years, yeah? Mm-hmm. And obviously, I always have two rooms rented out and that. So let's say one month is actually two because if you got... Um, a, f- a property with two people in every month is basically doubled in that because you've got yeah, one yeah. person in one room one person in the other room, yeah, yeah of course yeah. so let's say I've had like 60 months worth of rent mm. or 80 months worth of rent no one's ever not paid the rent never mm. it's never happened and that comes from setting those boundaries in the very beginning yeah. you say that's the that's the key if you're point. a weak person you're mm. a pushover and that mm. They're People like will bloodhounds. Yeah, yeah, they'll they, smell they, it. Yeah, they'll see yeah, it. Anything. Mm. Be friends. Friends yeah, yeah. take liberties. It's true. Managers at yeah. work. Yeah. yeah. I don't have people play with me, so mm. yeah, you've got to be built a certain way to be a landlord. Mm. Nah, man, that, that's, that's true. And, and like you said, it applies to all aspects of life as well, man. Yeah. Whether you're managing a team, um, anything, anything, anything. Yeah. Cool, man. Cool, cool. So, uh, what's, well, obviously rent is not an issue, but what's like maybe one challenge that you faced? Being a landlord then? Uh, it's just the revolving door. Because I rent rooms. Yeah. Some man will stay for six months. And oh, that. So you've got this yeah, constant yeah, yeah. revolving door. If mm. you get a family in a free bed house, know that they're going to be there for five, five years. Yeah, minimum, minute. Yeah. But there's a problem with that. Because when they rent out the whole entire property, they feel like it's theirs. And the worst thing you could do as a landlord, yeah, mm. is take over a property that's already been occupied by tenants. Imagine, yeah, you own a house. Mm. You, you live in a house. You're yeah. a tenant. You've been there for three, four years. And now the landlord changes, yeah? He's going to come. And obviously, he's probably not going to be like me. But you're going to feel like you know the property more than him. Well, you do. Mm. You know what doors creak from mm. what doors don't creak. You know what yeah, floorboards yeah. are a bit loose and that. You know, yeah. when you flush that toilet, there's water hammer after five minutes mm. and that. Make some loud horning sound. If you come and try and stamp authority and that, they might not listen to you. Mm. Yeah, they feel like the property is more uh, theirs than, 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 than yours. yours yeah. And when it comes to evict them, you're going to have problems. Mm. 110%. I work in uh, Northampton, working in um, tenants' houses and that. And they've told me a few of them. I, mean, I ain't going to swear. But that yeah. C-U-N-T of a landlord, yeah, <laughs> he decided to um, sell the property. So I stopped paying rent. So they had to evict me. Like the audacity of what you think there yeah, because he wants <laughs> to sell the property. You don't, you don't, you have, don't have to pay, pay rent, rent and you're yeah. not going to move. Mm. So I was like, yeah. That just confirms my, my beliefs and that. That's why I always rent rooms. I don't rent out the whole entire property to no one. So just rent, Never. yeah, yeah, okay. Never. So do, so is there a way you can just like tie them into a, like a, I see minimum 12 months tenancy. I yeah. mean, or is, that, what, is that is that to, to avoid them stop paying or something? No, nah, to, to stop that kind of revolving oh, door yeah, like every yeah, six yeah, months. Yeah, or, yeah. But some yeah. people, that's not going to be applicable to. Yeah. Some man want to just be there for six, six months. Six and then they're gone again, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Mm. So. Nice, man. Now that's, that's, well, that's property. Um, well, actually, uh, someone that's, like you said, they're up and coming, maybe they're thinking about buying their first house. What advice would you give to them? Just stack your money. Mm. Save your money. Buy somewhere that's affordable. Now, buy somewhere where you could possibly drive there and maintain the property yeah. as well. Because if you give it to a letting agent, then you're going to lose money on profit and that. So, yeah, they're yeah, going to be yeah, yeah. taking Obviously, a lot. Yeah. The process of getting on a property ladder, yeah, you need to be disciplined. So if you're mm. thinking about oh wearing Balmain and driving a Mercedes and that, forget it. <laughs> the, the, I, yeah. I, I can't I can't imagine someone having multiple properties and being that sort of person that mm. indulges in Balmain, Gucci, and mm. going to this holiday, that holiday, or eating at Gauchos and that. I feel like the two are mutually exclusive. Mm. Yeah, in every thousand people that have a few properties in that, do some people indulge in that stuff? Yeah, mm. but. Even when they were saving up to get those properties, I don't think you can do it at the same time. No, at the same it's, time. It's a mindset. Yeah, Everyone yeah, yeah. I know that has a couple properties and that none of them are into that crap. None mm. of them. And all the people them that don't have properties, they they're the ones there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah man, so we say so. You just got to be like fully locked in. So no holidays, no. You could. Yeah. It's all in moderation. I'm not mm. saying you yeah, put yourself in a mental prison and that. Mm. If you want to go on holiday and that, but it's the mindset of mm. oh, I just want to enjoy myself and live my life and that. Mm. At some point, you're gonna have to have no life. Mm. That's it. You got. You got. Yeah, you got to be, be focused. You got to be focused. Yeah. You got to be focused, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, that's a good. That's a good insight. Actually, stay. Stay focused if you want to get. Get to that. Have on to. the property ladder. You have to. Mm. You have to. It takes hard work and dedication. Yeah. So. Mm. Facts. 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 Um. So, another topics. Another topic you cover is um relationships as well. Yeah. Yeah. So any for the young people, yo, young 
Let's say, let's start with the guys now. What advice would you give to them? They don't dating move in. <laughs> don't move in with a woman. <laughs> don't do that. Why not? Why not? All right, let's say you yeah. move into her house. Mm. Yeah? Forget about you two leaving your parents' house and going and renting somewhere together. Yeah. If you move into her house, yeah, she's going to have the power. And unfortunately, mm. yeah, men need to have the power. That yeah. don't mean you need to be a dictator. That don't mm. mean you need to be evil or anything mm. like that. Yeah. But you need to have the power. You need to put yourself in a position where you can walk away from the woman. Because yeah. at some point, she's going to test you. Yeah, yeah, she's yeah. going to do something disrespectful and raising your voice and obviously mm. not going that, that um, doing anything mad is not going to mm. help the situation. No, you need to leave. Yeah. Women only understand then, action. That's it. Yeah. So you need to put yourself in a position where you need to leave. I'm a grown ass man. I ain't got time to be showing my girl I'm a, I'm a tough guy or yeah, yeah. I don't take no nonsense. So mm. I have to keep going back to my mum's yard. And certain man, let's say they're from Edmonton, where I'm from. Mm. They might move uh, to their, where their girl lives in Reading. Yeah. And then they get a job around there. So logistically, it's better for them to stay in Reading. Mm. What if that girl disrespects you and put you in a position where you need to leave? She says, shut your mouth or get out of my yard. What are you going to do? You're going to give her a mean stare. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Or say, don't finished, speak to yeah. me like that. No, you got to mm. leave. Yeah. Now, if you go back to your mum's yard, remember, you still you live, live in Reading. You still work in yeah. Reading, you know? Yeah, so you're you still drive got to commute from to, Reading. To, to Reading every day. I've, I've done that once. Mm. I was on a contract and I had to go there now and then. Mm. Madness, two hours. You can't do That's that. That's long. Yeah. Then, okay, you have to stay in Reading. Now you're renting a room with some mm. dirty housemates and that. Mm. It's long. It's long. So it have your long. own, have your own space or what? Let, what about letting the woman move in with you then? Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. My situation, my girl lives mm. with me. So mm. if anyone's leaving, it's not that, me. <laughs> yeah. it's, it's not yeah. me. It's not me. Mm. I had a coaching session with a boy the other day. Mm. He's young, like 22. He's got a girlfriend in there. And he said she's pushing for them two to leave their parents' house and mm. go and move together. Naturally, mm. don't make her a bad person. That's what you do, innit? Yeah. I said to him, my friend, do not do that. Because at some point, the relationship is probably going to resolve, yeah? Mm. Uh, dissolve, yeah? And... Let's say, yeah, when you move out, your monthly payments, your monthly bills are a grand or something, mm. yeah? Let's say you move in with her for three years and you break up and that. So for 36 months, that's three years, yeah? Mm. You've been paying a thousand pounds, yeah? Mm. You're going to leave your girl's yard when you lot break up, yeah? Well, the, yeah, you lot are going to leave the girl's yard when you break up. You're going to go back to your parents' house. You're going to go with a damaged ego and a broken and heart. A br- yeah. With nothing to show. Mm. No so you, money you spent back. all that grand as well? Nothing. Mm. So yeah, I would never recommend anyone move with a yeah. girl. Yeah, never. have your own. Yeah, have your own space. At have some, your own space. Because at some point you're gonna have to show you mean business. Mm. And I know a man that said to me, "Ah, oh, I'm lucky. My girl doesn't. Um, the the council property that they live in, he's on the tenancy agreement, so she can't technically evict him or kick him out. Right. Yeah. Unless he does something mad, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and then they have to call the police. But let's say she just says, "Oh, get out of the yard. He doesn't have to go." Some people might think that's a good thing. Oh, you can't be kicked out by the girl. But sick. now you're not going to exercise the power to yeah. walk away from exactly. her. Exactly. So, so you're, you're actually going to, you're more likely to stay in that environment. Exactly. Even if it's toxic, you're still going to stay. And she's going to think to herself subconsciously, okay, you, can't you, go do, anywhere. you do legally, can stay. You can stay here mm. legally and that. But you know what? The way I've spoken to you, you should have walked out. You should have taken your big Ikea bag and, and gone. Yeah, yeah, yeah gone yeah. back <laughs> somewhere in your mom's yeah. house. You ain't done that. Mm. So then, yeah, it's all it's all long, man. Yeah, true, true. Yeah. What do you think of like going on dates and that? Then like, cause you know, people say, oh, man, them should pay and go to restaurants yeah, yeah, and yeah. stuff like that. Yeah, What's yeah, your thoughts yeah. on that? Yeah, man, them should yeah. pay. Mm. Yeah, man, them should be paying because they're the ones that's organizing. So mm. we're going here. Mm-hmm. Don't let the girl change the date or yeah, nothing yeah, yeah. like that because it shouldn't be about the date. Yeah. So you should be able to go somewhere cheap. And let's not get crazy. We're not going to Dixie Fried Chicken or, or no, Morley's, Morley's. South London. <laughs> I've never yeah. been there. I keep hearing about the chip, the chip shop. We're not going to get silly in that, innit? Yeah. But you should be able to go on a cheap date. Wagamama's. Oh. Where, even just go for a little spin. Let's, let's go yeah. Krispy Kreme's. That's near mm. me, Enfield. Yeah, let's go there or whatever, innit? Yeah? Mm. If, a, if that's not good enough, the girl don't want to date you like that. Mm. She don't. It's more she, about she just wants, she like, wants that moment. Yeah, like, she yeah. wants an experience. Mm. Yeah, for her uh, Instagram page. Instagram, she wants yeah, content. Yeah. Mm. so yeah I think men they should pay for the dates and that but keep it cheap because mm. these girls will take you out well they'll ask to be taken out go on a date no intentions of it progressing I'm not saying a girl mm. needs to sleep with a man on the first date what I'm saying is these girls that will go out deliberately mm. and knowing full well they're not going to let this thing escalate you know why because they want to break from their boyfriend they will use you to get uh, over him yeah so it's like or just take, a rebound or take, take their mind off of him yeah, yeah, yeah. it's a yeah. rebounding it's a rebounding yeah. well it's Rebound, yeah. there, there's nothing even going to come from it. Yeah, it's yeah, not, it's yeah. Not, no, no, no. Yeah, they're yeah. going on these dates knowing full well mm. they're not going to do nothing. Not, Damn. I'll see how it goes. Yeah, yeah. 
Nah, 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 nah. I'm closed off mm. emotionally and you're just here to take my mind off him. Damn. Mm. And so, basically, you you want to keep the cost of investment low as possible until you find out if it's worth pursuing. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, mm. yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep mm. it cheap. If mm. she really likes she wants to get to know you. She won't mind. Yeah. Where are you going? She won't Walk get... in the park, anything. Do you know how much mm. man just chat to girls on the phone for a few, like, couple of weeks and, and they get yeah. to go to the yard? I'm not saying anything has to happen, mm. but she don't even need you to take them out on a date. I've mm. had a girl one time before begging me, come on, you please, you must have one yeah. hour. That's a girl that wants to get. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly. a girl that wants to get that to know is, yeah. you. Mm. That girl's celebrity crush, mm. Drake, whoever. Yeah, mm. if he said to her, "Let's go out," yeah, and we're not going nowhere. It's gonna go on a spin in my car. They mm. will go. They'll go. Yeah, no hundreds. date, nothing. You just to be with him. So, mm. yeah, that's that's what it is, man. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. A lot of them just want a free date, man. And you want, yeah, yeah, nah, 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 yeah. nah, man. So, what about what about for the girls then? So, what advice would you give? Um, don't. Yeah. The only man you should be talking to or taking seriously in that, mm. yeah, is a man that you want your son to be like. So if you look mm. at this guy and you think, I wouldn't want my son to even be 10% of what this guy is, mm. drop him out. Mm-hmm. Drop him out. Only talk to men seriously. Like, if you want to mess about, that's, that's your cool and just use protection and that. But mm. only date men seriously if you want your son to be like this man. Mm. Look at this guy and think to yourself, would I want to you copy want son this to, guy? Yeah. If the answer is mm. no, you got to keep it moving. Mm-hmm. That's a good. That's a good way to look at it. It's yeah. simple as that. Mm. It's as simple mm-hmm. as that. Mm-hmm. A lot of women, yeah, they're gonna listen to this and think, you know, what, that, that's shipping, right? Yeah, but yeah. they're gonna continue there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and I think they have to be careful as well, man, because next thing you know, you get pregnant with the guy that it's not really gonna work out long term. Yeah, 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 mm. yeah, yeah. And he's not a good role model for your son. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? mm. So over and. Leading on from that now, moving away from relationships and that, like going back to your work here, what's one thing you enjoy about your job? Actually, what is your job and what's one thing you enjoy about it the most? So I'm an electrical tester. Yeah. I used to just be an electrician, so wiring up lights and whatever. And then I've done inspection and testing course so that yeah. I can just do testing. Mm. So let's say I went on to a construction site, I would test the electrician's work to make sure they've done it. Properly. Okay, okay. The contract I'm on now, I go and test existing installations. So I go to Mrs. Jones's house or Kevin's house mm. and I test the existing installation. The best thing about the job is I like meeting new tenants. Yeah, yeah, yeah so you yeah, meet yeah, all yeah. kinds Chat of characters. I've seen the, some of the characters you meet, man. Oh. What about the one where he said he, he started rolling up a spliff when you was in the... in? Uh, he was re- what, what happened? Because there's a couple of times that's oh, happened. Did he go mad? Re- I can't remember, it, but it he was... It must be that one. Yeah, yeah, I think so. Yeah, yeah. What happened with that? Um... Uh, how, how long how long have you got? <laughs> yeah, man? we got time. We got time. <laughs> all right. So <laughs> basically I get all the tenants' numbers. Yeah. Mm. Let's say the man's name's Kevin Smith. Yeah. yeah? I phoned him up. You sound like a white man to me. Yeah. Mm. But it doesn't matter. But I'm just saying, innit? His name's Kevin Smith. Sound like yeah. a white man to me, innit? Because people from London, my mum's generation, they sound like white people to me. They sound mm. cockney and that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Phone him up, I say it's the electrician. Um, I'm planning on coming soon or whatever. He's like, Yeah, you can come now, you know. I say, Well, I need to go to the wholesalers and that. Cool. He, um, I wasn't going to the wholesale. I was going to the chicken and chip shop. I'm not going to yeah. tell him that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So anyway, I'm on this estate in, in Northampton. I'm walking around trying to find the address. Let's say it's number six. I'm walking around. I see a black man out the window. So I was like, mm. yo, do you know where number six is? He was like, yeah, it's around the corner to the left. Yeah, mm. the entrance is to the left. I was like, cool. He's like, I knew you was a black man on the phone. I said, oh, Oh shoot, is it's that him. you? Yeah. I just saw a random man at the window. I'm just mm. thinking he's just a random guy. Yeah, yeah. It was him who I spoke to. So anyway, I got a bit comfortable. As I've gone to his um his flat door, he's bust the door open, I spudded him. Because mm. I know he's Jamaican, but obviously probably yeah. born there like me in it. So mm. anyway, boom. So I gone in there and I said to him, um, yeah, what I need to do is uh, go in all the rooms and test all the sockets in that basically, and a couple of lights. He's like, ah, oh, wait there. I need to let my son know that you're here. So I was like, all right, cool. He said it kind of odd. You know, you pick up a vibe. Yeah, yeah. So he's going right. to the back. I'm standing mm. in the living room and I can see the hallway where the bedrooms are, innit? Mm. He's bust the door open and he's just speaking proper quiet and that. So something, something didn't sit right with me. Yeah. Like, what the hell's going on? So anyway, I thought, you know what? Maybe the son's on a night shift. I've mm. gone into the room now. He said, yeah, you can go and speak to my son. I've gone into the room now. The guy's wide awake. He's just sitting down on his bed. So I'm like, well, on, you good? Yeah, he's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, what I need you to do is free up some space because he's got mm. stuff all in the room. It's quite a small room. I can't see the sockets. He's like, yeah, 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 that's cool. I've gone, got my stuff and come back. Gone in the property. Now the weed starts coming out. The man are pulling oh, out weed. Because yeah, the yeah. thing with the tenants, they get too comfortable around me. and Because yeah, they yeah, are yeah. here street man and that. And it is. Yeah, I feel like they're yeah. showing off. 
Yeah, you mm. know an electrician is coming to your yard between twelve and four o'clock. Have yeah. your weed in just the put morning. The we- <laughs> just Have put- your weed in the morning. Yeah, where yeah? you can bake it. They deliberately do it. So anyway, mm. boom. So I've gone in. My man's burning weed out the window, and I said, "Sorry, I don't smoke. Do you mind waiting till I finish?" He's like, mm. "Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry." Dabbed it out. Done. Yeah. He's like. I'm not being rude or anything, but like my son don't really like people coming in his room without mm. putting on shoe covers. Do you have any shoe covers? I was like, yeah, cool, man. Yeah. I just tapped him on the shoulder. Yeah. Like, what do you say? Like, pop a light. I'm yeah. sorry to... Mm. Anyway, cool. Boom. <laughs> so I've gone in the son's room now, ain't it? Yeah, like, yeah, everything good, yeah? He's like, yeah, yeah, cool. Boom. I'm in the hallway mm. where the fuse box is. Yeah, yeah. testing the, the, the fuse box. Now, around the yard, there's bare, like, pictures on the wall, like a collage. Mm. It reminds me of the man them's jail cells, yeah? Mm. What, what man they will do in the jail in the jail cells and that they put a bunch of pictures all together and that mum girlfriend okay, all this yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. it's like fifty pictures all together you know the little right. Polaroid and that you take yeah, a picture yeah, yeah. and then you yeah and you yeah, take, yeah, yeah, no, 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 yeah yeah like, yeah yeah or then, call that yeah, yeah. yeah all of them on the wall is wow. like 25, 30 pictures anyway boom um so I said to the son everything bless you he's like yeah cool boom I'm in the the hallway cupboard now yeah now this guy's got a Jamaican flag in front of the the door. So um, I'm in the hallway cupboard. He's got stuff in there. He's like, yo, man up my stuff. I heard him shout from the, the hallway. Yo, man up my stuff. Don't break nothing in there. Innit? But the way yeah. he said, I'm like, what going for my you? But you know what? Yeah, yeah. Cool. He kind of just... Yeah, he, might, he probably just shouted to project his voice because he's mm. in the room. He can't even see me, but I think he can hear me in the cupboard, innit? Mm. So I was like, all right, cool, boom. So anyway, the dad's come now. Me and him are talking in the hallway, yeah? The dad's like the same size as me. Yeah? We're just chatting and uh, oh, I think I asked him, like, where are you from originally? He says he's from Hackney, innit? Yeah? That's mm. why I said the 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 black people from London, that's my mum's accent. Yeah. They sound kind of cockney, yeah, yeah. innit? So anyway, boom, me and him standing in the hallway, standing beside me. Um I hear his son's uh, lighter going off. I'm like, oh, I have to go and tell someone else to yeah. put the weed away. Cause I'm not a policeman, I don't enjoy telling people in their own yard mm. to put the weed away, but I'm gonna say something. Yeah. 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 So anyway. Hear the, him sparking up a zoo and that. I'm like, All right, cool, boom. Me and, me and the dad are standing in the hallway talking. This guy's come to the door now, yeah, and moved the Jamaican flag out of the way. This shoe was as tall as the door. I'm like, bro, how do you grow so much? <laughs> Can you imagine yeah. sitting down on the chair? He yeah, didn't you didn't expect bed. it. He didn't look so big, innit? Mm. So anyway, boom, my man's come to the door. He just staring me dead in my eyes. This all happened over a split second. Yeah? Mm. I said to him, who told me to say, sorry, my friend, I don't smoke. Yeah, do you mind putting the weed away? My man snapped. I bay right there. Bruh. I said to him, I'm not going in there with yeah. all that smoke. So I tell you what you do, yeah. This is my room, yeah. I pay rent for this room, yeah. Mm. So you can go around the rest of the yard, do the test. I'm gonna smoke in this room because I pay rent for this room. And when I'm done, you can come in there and smoke. I said, blood, I'm not going in there until you stop smoking and that mm. yeah. My man just kissed his teeth and gone in the bedroom. Yeah. Just before that, actually, me and him having a standoff. Cause I'm not budging. Mm. I'm not leaving and I'm not going in there neither. Yeah. yeah? His dad's like, let's say his name's Michael. Michael, please. I'm thinking, but when you tend to shut me up, <laughs> yeah. man. So dad I reckon went... the son bullies the... up the dad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. It must anyway, be that. Afterwards, the son, this is how you know the guy's not right in his head, yeah? Five minutes later, me and his dad are still in the hallway talking, yeah? Mm. I hear air freshener spraying, window curtains open, because mm. yeah, you can hear it sliding on the rail, yeah. window bus open, come to the door, he's like, yeah, you can come in now. I'm thinking, all of that. Over, so yeah. Anyway, me and the dad... Uh, I've gone in the dad's bedroom now. Again, pictures all over the place. Yeah. I'm testing the socket. I'm like, is that, I don't want to say the name, is that Chanel? Yeah. My man's looked at me, you know, that's his daughter. I'm like, oh no, not like that. Yeah. That's my, um, my, oh, so my, I've it. got a cousin from Hackney, that's her yeah. bedroom. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. he thought like I might have troubled yeah, his yeah, daughter. Yeah. And that. <laughs> Funny enough, she did like me in that. Right. But okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. I never troubled it because back yeah. in school, like when you're a year or two older than a girl, I feel like a year or two young for me. Mm, and that, mm, mm. She didn't go to my school. She's mm. from Hackney. I'm from Edmund. But anyway, so um, yeah. So anyway, this is how I know the dad shook of the son. Yeah. Me and the dad are standing in the living room, the hallways behind me. Yeah. I'm standing there, face to face with the dad talking to him. The hallways behind me, the da- the son is pacing up and down, grabbing stuff and moving, moving it stuff from the uh, the hallway cupboard to mm. his bedroom. But he's moving like a madman. All I can hear is go, yeah, yeah, he's behind going me and crazy. Like, the dad is supposed to be standing there talking to me, looking in my eyes. Mm. He's looking this in the way. Sun. <laughs> yeah, he's, <laughs> he's, not, he's, not he's, going, he's worried he's about what the son's well, what's doing? his son doing. And yeah. Anyway, done the test, left. The dad was like, I'll, I'll see you to the door, innit? I was like, yeah, mm. cool. Gone to the door now, left. He's like, hey, hey. 
He shut the door behind. He's like, sorry, man, my son is not right in his head, man. I was like, it's cool, man. We're Jamaican. It's cool. And it was just like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Right, yeah. You must, I've had, I've had yeah. Like the, um, incidents and that where the tenants yeah. kick off. Certain man need to ch- show me that they're the bad man in mm. the yard and that blood. It's I'm just not here that to do deep. A yeah, you're just here to, yeah. for work, man. They and told it's me like, about when they went to prison and that. Mm, they're Yo, telling you the I whole story. I you not about no jail mm. stories or nothing like that. Yeah, they... Uh, I think it's the area to be fair in it. Uh, they don't get yeah. much man that's man them like that going yeah, into yeah. the So it's like now, whenever it's they like, see them, it's like, yeah, they got show man, yeah, mm. man, I'm a G, you know. Mm. I went to jail. I never asked you about your jail thing. I asked mm. you about what your neighbours are like. Are they a nuisance? <laughs> and like, I always ask the yeah. tennis that because they tell me funny stories. Mm. Man, you must hear a lot of stories, man. And you must wow, that that must be an interesting job. Hundred for real. stories. Yeah. Hunt the some mm. of the stuff that's gone on on the job. Like the funniest what's the funniest experience you've had so far? Funny experience. Yeah. Uh, oh, that's a difficult one, you know. Yeah. I've had tenants where I've just got on well. With yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. It, it could be an old man mm. who's originally from Tottenham but moved to Northampton. Mm. Uh, he ain't been back for 30 years. Right, yeah. We're kind of comparing Tottenham and the surrounding areas then to mm. now. And he's like, oh, is that still there? I'm like, nah, that's gone. But that's still yeah, there, yeah. though. And yeah, it's a lot different now, mm. you know. I'm like, even the house prices and that, yeah. Mm. Before, the house in Tottenham might have been cheap back in the day. Now it's expensive. They mm. gentrify in the area. Yeah, it's true, it's true. Off the top of my head, I can't think of anything that's funny yeah. in that. But yeah, I had some good no, experience yeah. in we'll that. Come back, like, we'll come yeah. back to that. Um, yeah, so, cool. obviously, your job, that's like, that is a very stable job, right? Yeah. So, would you recommend that to young people? Like, because, you know... There's, we're in the age of social media. Everyone, a lot of people, young people, interested in doing stuff online. But then there's still that lane to do, labouring, construction, mechanics. Like you know, what's your thoughts on how how the market is now for jobs and stuff? Get a skilled trade. Yeah, like if if you want to go down the labour, um, the blue collar route and that. Mm. Yeah, get get yourself some sort of skill or trade and that. If you want to be um, a uni man or go to uni and get yourself a white collar job, then do that and that. But mm. I've had a u- couple use. Especially there was one you that came out of jail. Yeah, he was in Feltham. <coughs> My content is shown in all different prisons around the country. Yeah. The Mounts, Feltham, ISIS, Weatherby, Lindholm and that Doncaster. Big him out. Big up, big um, up. One you come out of Feltham and he was like, yeah, I'm looking to jump on the electrical thing. I said, first and foremost, it's not no thing you jump on. Mm. The soon as, as soon as you jump on it, you, you <laughs> get off of it, yeah? This yeah. is a lifelong career you mm. need to think about getting on to, yeah? This is not something you just jump on mm. because you're just seeing it as like, oh, yeah, I'll just try that. There's try nothing to this, try. Yeah. You're going to dedicate yourself to it and you're going to have to do it for a very long time. And mm. that, yeah? So um, I don't like, I see this all the time, young people flip-flop between working at ASDA, mm. oh, I'm going to go back to college and study accounting, then I mm. forget that I'm going to go do sports science. Now, you know, mm. I don't want to do sports science because I don't want to be a PE teacher. Mm. I'm going to go and do labouring and that and then work for City Fibre and Sky and mm. that. And then on the side of doing a little fraud, little weed selling, all that nonsense. <laughs> yeah. That. yeah, you need to find one thing and stick mm. to it. That's what I did. Mm-hmm. I've never had a job anywhere else. Mm. Became electric electrical apprentice, that's it never done nothing else so find your lane I'm not stay, saying that yeah. if you've tried a few things then you're not going to be able to find nothing in that. but you just need to stick to one thing yeah that's yeah. it so I just well yes, I guess you'd have to look at what your skills are but then again you wouldn't know that until you learn the skill a couple of people mm. they've asked me oh what should I do mm. And you know, I'd speak to myself like, yo, don't you have parents, man? Like, mm. well, why are your parents not teaching? Yeah, well, yeah. Why is it some random guy mm. that you've never met before <laughs> yeah. is telling you what to do with your life? This is mm. basic stuff. Mm. A lot of people ain't qualified to be parents, but that's mm. another topic. Um, I asked some of these young guys in there, mm. what do you think you'd be better at? Using your hands and being a blue collar worker like me or sitting in an office and that? And they'll say, you know what, nah, I'll be better at being in an office. So I was like, okay, mm. go to uni or do IT. Um, yeah, IT. Like, yeah, the, yeah, exactly. Um, I, there's, I, there's loads of IT. IT courses now. Software Even, engineering. Yeah, one software, of my brethren yeah. is big him up. Ben got, he, he does cyber security. He's on Cy- big money. Cyber security is big money, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 He's on big money. Mm. But um, so if again, you don't think that's going to be for you, then... Labouring. Yeah, do um, yeah. blue collar. Blue collar, yeah. Electrician, mechanic, mm. something. So there's a lane. And like you said, I think I saw... Oh, I can't remember. I was watching it the other day. It's like, life is not as hard as what people make it out to it's be. It's not. It's not, it's not. It's not as hard as people make it out to be. And at, at the end of the day, yeah, there are going to be hard times in your life. You're going to have mm. some low points and that. But I think people they put hurdles in in way that like, what I don't know in it. But they just mm. make life harder than it is. Mm. Yeah, they just by not staying focused and disciplined and that. Mm-hmm. By you flip flopping and jumping from five different courses. And that, if you just stuck to one course, 
You'd be all right. The amount of time yeah. you've wasted mm. jumping from this to this to this. I know so many guys as well. Man that, yeah, I don't even want to say this, but mm. man that I know who are 31 years old, 32 years old, and they're still trying to find something. Blood, mm. when you saw me doing my apprenticeship at the age of 19, 20 and that, a couple of years later, you should have said, you know what, I should do that as well. Yeah. They would have been cool. They would have been a mm. plumber or a gas engineer making two, three hundred pounds a day. But instead, mm. now nah, they're jumping around and, and now they're still broke. Trying to find Still something. living at their yeah. mom's house at age 32 with no plans mm. to leave, you know. Damn. Damn. So it's, in other words, stay focused. You've got to. Stay focused. Stay in that lane. Build on it. Build your craft. Yeah. Build don't your craft. Don't be a sheep. Yeah, don't, mm. don't think to yourself, I'm missing out. I'm not wearing these clothes, so I need to do that to fit in and that. Blood. Mm. I don't know. Maybe you know what? Maybe it's just the way I'm calibrating. What do you think about? It. Yeah. What do you think about? Like there, there's people buying designer. No, you know, it's a waste stuff. of money. Mm. Guys will buy designer clothes because they think that's what girls are attracted to, and that. And yeah, let's say they are. But mm. I want you to look at your return on investment. You've got a wardrobe that's worth twenty grand. Yeah. So you're wearing top tier clothes. Mm. Are you linking up with top tier girl? And how many? Yeah, because me, mm. if if I wear plain clothes and that, and I can only get sevens and eights, then so be it. I'm not gonna mm. start wearing nice clothes just so I can get nines and tens and that. I don't mm. care. It's not worth it, innit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not the worth ROI. It. The ROI is the not there. ROI. The what you is not there. is that you're leasing <laughs> five hundred pound a month. Yeah. How many girls are you even getting out on a day? <laughs> it's true. <laughs> it's a lot, man. There's guys that think, oh, when you get a Rolls Royce and that, and girls all supposed to come. Nah, it ain't like nah, that, man. You nah, got nah, you got to nah, look nah. at your personality, man. Yeah, it's exactly. a personality. It's the most important yeah. thing. That's why broke yeah. guys can always get girls. Yeah, exactly, and they. And more time the girl don't care. He's going on a bus. Exactly. He's, they're yeah. going on a train together, yeah. and they don't mind. She likes it. Yeah. She likes it, but yeah. yeah so you just gotta be make the right investments, man. Make the right choices. I tell you about clothes, yeah. Yeah. And so I went to a school called Winchmore, yeah, in North mm. London. It's next to Edmund. And I told a couple men that I know I'm gonna do a speech. And I never got yeah. around to it because they didn't let me come and do a speech in the school. So I remember I was standing on my estate, and a man said to me, "So what are you gonna wear?" I said, I'm going to wear what I'm wearing now, basically. Wearing a white and black T-shirt, blue Unico jeans, mm. and a pair of ZX 750s. Mm. Yeah? He said, nah, man, what you need to do is you need to wear Balmain and that so the youths then want to uh, oh, listen what? to you. And, that. Yeah. and you know I'm saying? That they can yeah, relate yeah. to you. I said, blood, you know what? If I need to wear certain clothes to relate to the youths, they're already lost. I yeah, can't help it's true. them. It's like... I, I can't, I can't, the message should speak you. for itself, man. Yeah, I don't need... I shouldn't mm. need to turn up in Giuseppe's. For, for the young nah. people to listen <laughs> to me. If that's, if that's what I need to do, forget it. Mm. They're already lost. Mm -hmm. they're, they're, they're lost. Damn. So, Damn. Yeah. So it's, yeah. Is that, it's true, you know, because it's like, why would you need to wear that to convey? I mean, fair enough, image can but, persuade let, people. Let but show the camera. Yeah. These are set ZX 750s, yeah? This is what I was going to wear. Yeah? They're Literally. comfy as well, you know? Yeah, I love them. I've got about yeah. eight pairs yeah. of them. Yeah, go check out my mm. property video yeah, where I'm yeah. showing the four properties and mm. I show all the trainers and that. Yeah? yeah. If that if wearing those ain't good enough, obviously if I turned up and my trainers are talking. Yeah, that's to what me, I'm saying. That's what I'm getting come at. Obviously, come on, yeah. let's not be silly. As long as the, the shoes, are, are, yeah, as long as the shoes ain't talking, it's yeah. about what's coming out of my mm. mouth. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to come on this podcast today wearing mm. Balmain or anything. I don't have that. But even mm. if I did, I'm not you don't going need to. It. Yeah. yeah. People are going to see this podcast and that resonate with the words that are coming out of my mouth. Thank you. Not this. You know what? Yeah, this is a TikTok tracksuit. Mm. You know, there's certain people. I was gonna right ask where you got that. You know, sick. Yeah. There's certain man right now. Yeah, yeah, they'll see this tracksuit. Oh, I like the way the blue and the black and. Yeah. That. I'll tell them it's from TikTok, and they'll say in their head, "Nah, you're a fool. If you don't want to buy something just because it's from, it's from TikTok, TikTok, you're a damn fool. Yeah, you really <laughs> yeah. are lost in. But the if you told them it was flipping Balenciaga now. Yeah, or if you know, oh no, some some sort of yeah unknown designer mm. or whatever. Innit? Yeah, or it's from Next or something. Yeah, but because it's from TikTok, you don't want to buy it. That's You're crazy. Weird. That's weird, yeah. These mm. people are lost. Mm -hmm. Anyone mm -hmm. that thinks like that, they won't have no property. Yeah. They won't have no mm. property. You got to think about the bigger picture, long term. I'll, I will shop at Primark, no problem. I don't care. Mm. I ain't going to go, yeah, and wear Primark clothes where it's inappropriate to wear Primark clothes. Yeah. I'm twisted, but I don't mind shopping at Primark. There's certain men right now, they wouldn't walk around with Primark. Mm. I've been with man on Oxford Street and I'm saying, yeah, okay, I'm going to go in Primark. He's like, are you serious? I say, yeah. Mm. He's like, no, no, you going to prime? I said, yeah. He's like, oh, I'm going to go over there. My man went to a jewelry shop and that. He went. <laughs> yeah. He made me, I went in Primark on my own. Phoned him up to wow. rendezvous with him outside after, after 20 minutes. <laughs> Damn. Yeah. But he has mm. no properties and I have four. Because his mind. Yeah, mindset. His mind yeah. is in the wrong place. Mm. Mm -hmm. 
Priorities, man. Priorities, priorities. I will go into a charity shop. I'm not. I'm, I will never buy a charity clothes. But I will mm. go in there. I don't care what mm. anyone thinks. Mm. I don't, I'm busy with no one thinks. They're probably broke. Because what it is, you've got you've think. got your home sorted. So you're, it's more about interior for you than some people focus on exterior. Some people focus on interior. You know my infamous hoodie, green hoodie that I wear in all my videos? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, the yeah. reason why I still wear it is because <laughs> I had that since I was 17. I'm right. 31 yeah, now, yeah. yeah? So, like, it's like sentimental value. Mm. Someone tried to rip me the other day on it. Like, ah, oh, how can you listen to this guy talking about properties and that? And he's wearing a mashup hoodie. He left that comment. I didn't say no. I don't respond to foolishness. Mm. My, my supporters come underneath. I was like, yes, respect. So, like, like four men come underneath that comment saying, listen, yeah, why are you even watching what a man's wearing? Wearing, like, yeah, Your yeah, mind's exactly, in the wrong place yeah. and that. Let's say, and it don't matter about the likes and that, but that comment mm. about, oh, you're wearing a mashup hoodie, that got like four likes. Mm. And then the video, um, the comment where that man responded to him, like, blood, if you're worried about what a man's wearing and that, yeah, you really are lost, whatever the person said. Mm. I got like 46 likes. You see? That. Foolishness. So I wear a mashup hoodie. I don't care about mm. looking poor because mm. I got money. When, when you're broke, yeah. the last thing you want to happen is people to think, think you're that broke. you're broke. Yeah, yeah. When you've got money, yeah. you don't care. You don't care. Yeah. You don't care because mm. you know you've got peace. Mm. I know I've got money, so I don't care for the poor. So that must mean it's an insecurity. If you're worried about a man wearing clothes that's torn up and that, bro, your mind's in the wrong place. You should be mm. listening. I told mm. my viewers and that don't even watch me. Don't mm. don't watch me. You know I should be on the table. You're cooking food or doing yeah. some sort of work. It's just listening. Listen. Yeah. That's why I don't business about um, camera quality and that. Mm. Cause when I listen to people like let's say like Andrew Tate or motivational mm -hmm. speakers and that big man like Casey Sandon, mm -hmm. when I listen to those people, that's exactly just, what I do. It's in the I don't background. Sit there. You're not sitting there watching. Them. Nah, yeah. I mm -hmm. hardly ever sit down and watch content. I listen, mm -hmm. but I don't watch. Watch, yeah, yeah, because they need to be actually doing something, and they have that playing on in the background. Yeah, mm -hmm. exactly. Yeah, man. So obviously you got the book out now. Um, tell, talk to us a little bit about that before we before we roll out, man. So I always wanted to write a book because I feel like I've had a diverse lifestyle. You know mm. what I'm saying? Like I, I've been about and done a lot of things in that from Taekwondo to buying and selling Crispin drinks in school. Mm. So obviously getting on the streets and being on the wrong path, going to prison, coming out and turning my life around and getting properties. And then mm. I thought, yeah, this is a story that needs to be told. And you know, a lot of us have got a story as well. So my advice to anyone that wants to write a book here, yeah, let's say yeah, you got something to talk about, autobiography and that. Some people don't know where to start, you know. They're like, oh, mm. I don't know what chapter to start. <coughs> start anywhere. The first physical chapter I wrote was called School Entrepreneur, where I was buying and selling Christmas drinks in school. Mm. That might physically appear at chapter, be chapter six. I don't know. So that was the first chapter I physically wrote. So write a chapter. Let's say, yeah, I don't know, the day you got married mm. or the day you got your first job or you got fired from your first job. Okay. What happened before, what happened afterwards? Mm. And the next thing you know, you've got you've 10, got a picture. you've got 20, 28 chapters. Like Chap me, I've yeah, got yeah. 28 chapters. Funny enough, the first chapter that appears in the book before existence um, was the last chapter I physically wrote. But yeah, oh, wow. Yeah. So it's not like, you don't have to write it in order. Yeah, I was mm. talking about my mum actually <coughs> grew up in Stamford Hill mm. and whatever. And it's all. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so yeah, yeah that, that, that was the first chapter that I, mm. I wrote. And where can they find your book? What's it called as well, actually? It's called Conquering Adversity by Jelani yeah. Knight. Mm -hmm. So that's my government name. Secret's out. Um, <laughs> it's out there now, man. There's a hardback version that you can buy on eBay. And mm. then the ebook version is on Amazon. Amazon, okay, yeah, nice. The hardback's about, I think, 20 or 25. And the ebook's like 10 or 15. So. Nice, man. So make sure you go cop that. Yeah. And, bro, it's been... Amazing featuring you on the show. Yeah, come bro, on, man. getting all the insights, yeah, yeah, um, yeah. getting all that, all the knowledge. I'm sure a lot of people gain value from this episode, man. Definitely. And like I said, I'm gonna keep tuning in to your videos. Keep subscribing. Um, subscribe to JYS TV. Tell them where they can find your all your content as well. So, I'm on X, Twitter, or whatever. Yeah. Um, I don't really use it that much. I did actually post up something today. Um, obviously YouTube, JYS yeah, TV. Yeah. Instagram, JYST TV, TikTok, JYST TV. You can even send me an email at JYST TV at Outlook.com. Um, yeah, that's where you can find me. Obviously, Twitter, X, uh, JYST TV. Nice, man. Big up. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And we're out.